Hi, my name is Mary Casillas, and I am an associate with a nonprofit, uh, TOSTEM. And today we're going to be finding pi through bubbles. This is something that you can do at home. Um, I have two mixtures of bubble solution here. If you don't have bubble solution, uh, you could just mix uh, a part of dish soap with water. And I added some food coloring so we can see the bubbles. You just need a blank sheet of paper and a surface. And if you don't have a bubble wand, you can actually fold two paper clips to create your own bubble wand. So for right now, I'm going to blow some bubbles onto our sheet in different colors. And then once they pop on the sheet, we can actually use a tape measure to calculate pi of our bubbles. So now we're gonna wait for this to dry and we're gonna use a tape measure to measure the pi of the bubbles. So if you don't have a tape measure at home, it's okay. You could um, fold a piece of tape in half or use some string alongside a ruler and use a Sharpie to mark the increments and then you have a flexible measuring tool. Okay, so I see a couple of big bubbles. So there's one here, one popped here, and there's a big one right here. So I think we're gonna do this big one first. So I'm gonna pick a place to start. Just kind of do the best you can measuring around the bubble. So I'm kind of happy with that. So that's 14 inches. I'm gonna try to go through the center of the bubble when I measure across. That's four inches. So if we divide 14 by four, we can see how close we get to pi. The distance around was 14 inches and the distance across the diameter was four inches. When we divide 14 by four, we get 3.5. We know that pi is 3.14 and then a bunch of other digits. Um, so we're getting pretty close. Uh, what we invite you to do is do this activity at home and share with us how close you can get to 3.14.